that's a triple play. New episodes of Kill Wake. First gate, press play, no need to debate. AOA, check me out. Look, clocked in, you could catch the hype. Golden Dawn, how we follow the light. Anime like life, uh, married to it, my wife. Uh. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages? Welcome back to the AOA Reacts channel. I'm your host, as always, Ian, along with the boy Isaiah. Oh, hi, yo. And uh, we're watching One Piece right now. I'm like, actually not terrified right we're, about <laughs> we're about to but i'm like i'm like actually terrified i'm not gonna lie um because this is gonna be a long journey <laughs> and like i'd be lying if 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 i didn't admit here that we for various reasons have kind of avoided this show and obviously the length is one of them i mean you know you gotta, you gotta admit, it's it's a pretty big deterrent for somebody that doesn't want to commit to that journey. But we figured there are so many fans out there, like diehard, devoted fans of the show. There have been people that have been talking it up from here to Timbuktu to the moon and back. And um, you know, I've heard that the world building is really good. There's a lot of pluses to the show, and a lot of people say it's worth the investment. Um, I'm going in with my expectations tampered, like a, a little, you know, t uh, not too high. Uh, that way I'm not, you know, sorely disappointed because we have a lot to get through in the beginning. The show has been long running and these are going to be some older episodes in the beginning. But all said and done, I am pretty excited to finally understand what all the fuss is about. And, you know, as an anime fan, it'll be nice to be able to speak to one of the most popular anime of all time. <laughs> you know, so um, I'm pretty excited to go. And uh, we're, we're just going to, you know, we're going to go along this journey. But I wanted to throw out something in the beginning here. And I recommend for anyone who has made it this far that if we ever do have an intro before we get into an, a reaction, I recommend you watch it because we're probably going to say something important, being that we usually don't do that. Um, we usually don't have intros. We are going to cut out filler. And so what I mean is I went to the like website uh, website for you know what filler episodes there were in one piece being that it is so long um we didn't want to have to waste our time with any unnecessary non-canon non-manga stuff going on there might be some cute filler episodes or like some ones that are really good maybe they kind of go off the beaten path um you guys can recommend those i'm not going to promise that we're going to watch them though um and so we have this up i'm not going to go through all the episodes that we can constitute as filler you're going to find that out as you watch it if you're going to come along with this journey with us but there's roughly out of 999 or 990 episodes currently there are about 95 episodes of filler currently according to this website so we're probably going to be axing at least 95 episodes from the watch list here just so we could get the story for what it was intended to be and so that we don't get burnt out on one piece content and neither do you guys as well um so just keep that in mind going forward and if there are any ovas or any particular filler episodes that are like a must watch or something like that you guys could recommend them we just we're not going to make any guarantees that we'll watch them but we will definitely look into it so just keep that in mind but anyway uh isaiah did you have any opening thoughts before uh, we hop into this yes a few uh one also the deal with the videos is that they're going to as of right now in time of these this recording and then the subsequent upload um there'll be two episodes a week so if you because i know people were doing do this with hunter hunter our reactions um if there's like a specific order or a specific you know way that you want us to watch certain episodes like i.e you know if it's like oh episode 20 and 21 like should really be watched like together or like you know or you know what i mean or 22 you know um you know again no promises but we will try to accommodate that stuff and also just with the filler thing be sparing you know <laughs> like if it's your favorite filler episode that doesn't always necessarily mean that it's a like that it's worth checking out if and you know i know people who who have already finished the series or caught up rather know what i mean um, cause I mean, this, this show is, you know, like you were saying, my expectation is pretty tempered. Um, I grew up, I'm, I'm one of those anime fans that grew up watching Naruto and I know this was some other people's Naruto for them. Um, so one of, you know, one of the reasons that I, uh, I like, uh, obviously aside from the length the you know, the sheer size of it was just the fact well, was like how much people hyped it up. 
you know, and how much people are like, dude, it's like literally you're not even going to need to drink water or eat bread <laughs> once you start watching One Piece. Like, it's just going to be, that's all you're going to need. And it's like, <laughs> you know, I've been there, man. <laughs> like, I've been there where it's like the nostalgia classes are on, you know, shit's pretty thick and it's pretty heavy. And I, and I get it. And I'm not, that's not to say that I think this is bad, but I just, I have a feeling, I've had a feeling that people, you know, have, uh, you know, have a tendency, let's just say, to, to hype up this a, a little bit, a little bit too much. Um, that also being said, I did want to address this because it's happened, well, it, it happens with every single reaction we do, but I just noticed it recently with the Haikyuu ones, and I just wanted to put this out just going forward. Um, when it comes to the reaction videos that we do, if Ian or me or both of us, if like at any point we're watching this, if we, you know, react to something a way that you don't agree with or we like or dislike something that you are on the opposite end of that's okay <laughs> like you know everybody has their own opinions nobody's wrong here and regardless how we feel about something it should not impede or impact how you feel about it, it shouldn't invalid like you know what i mean if we don't like a certain character or scene or whatever it shouldn't if you and you do it shouldn't invalidate that experience or, or that thought for you um i just because i just noticed that like especially with our bigger reactions, there tends to be a disconnect between people watching the reaction and people being upset because we're not reacting to it and watching the show the way they want us to. And that's just not what this is. It's not what this has ever been. It's not, you know, it by nature is, is not genuine to what we're doing. You know, we're making this video so you guys can see our reaction, but I just wanted to put it out there that, you know, keep that in mind because this is a long show and this is going to be a long journey uh, as we go forward. If, 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 Ian or I, you know, like or don't like a character, scene, monologue, what have you, um, and you feel the opposite way, it's not the end of the world, you know, just putting that out there. <laughs> now that, I think it's very good that you did put that out there, and I think you hit it on the head when it's uh, just highlighting the point here that we are reacting to it in our genuine, you know, way here, down-to-earth way, so that doesn't mean that we're going to react in the way that you want us to react to it. You know, we're going to, we're going to do our best to be entertaining and to enjoy this ride and the experience. But I think you nailed it on the head there. Um, and just to kind of piggyback off what you were saying before about the two episodes a week thing right now, um, this is going to be a very long journey. There may be times where we, and again, no guarantees right now it's two episodes a week, but there may be times where there are more episodes a week. Um, maybe times where, you know, God forbid there are, you know, uh, weird circumstances, there might be less episodes a week, um, but we're going to try and hit that bare minimum of two per week and then with the potential of maybe three or something like that if, you know, our time and schedule allots for it. So just keep, you know, uh, in the loop with our community posts, with our social media, all that kind of stuff. You could find all that in the description down below. It's a really good way to stay up to date if you're going to hop on for this journey with us to be in the loop, uh, you know, if anything goes out of schedule, you know, out of order as how it should be. And the last thing I wanted to bring up here is that full disclosure from the beginning, um, and this might come obvious to some people, but it might not, it might be a shock to others. Um, we will be a couple episodes ahead all the time from when we release an episode. So when, for instance, this episode, when you see it, this episode, we will probably be, if I had to guess about six episodes deep by that point. Um, we do that on purpose uh, because sometimes with editing uh, and just our lives and schedules, uh, we want to make sure that we have a little bit in the tank. God forbid something comes up in our, our personal lives or something that prohibits us from being able to get to edits or you know to getting to those episodes and posting them in the moment. Uh, so this way it covers our ass, as it were, in case something like that happens. But with that being said, we have to be a couple episodes ahead in order to um, to help with that, right? So. That's just something to keep in mind in general. We're really gonna try and tone it back as compared to something like Haiku, where we were like a whole season ahead at times. We're gonna try and make it so we're like, you know, anywhere within the four to eight episode range and no more, no less. Um, so just keep that in mind, you know, going forward and don't be upset if we, you know, um, if we, oh, you know, if you know in your mind that we already are gonna know something a couple episodes in advance. So just throwing that out there. And the, the last thing I want to talk about here is our Patreon. And the reason I want to talk about the Patreon is because One Piece is going to be such a long journey. Um, we do offer on our Patreon as one of the benefits, 
uh, unfiltered, unedited early access to a lot of our live reactions and One Piece will definitely be one of them. Since we have so much room to make up here, um, so much headway to make up with roughly a thousand episodes, uh, we got a lot of binging to do here. So we're gonna put out episodes uh, a week early and in the unedited, unfiltered format. For any Q fans that are on our Patreon, it'll be the same concept. So definitely join there if you don't wanna see this in its edited, copyrighted, you know, copyright free style, um, just because we gotta, we gotta hop through a lot of hoops in order to not get our YouTube channel deleted. Um, you know, so that means on YouTube, they might come out a little different than you might see them, you know, if we, if we're able to throw it up on Patreon. So definitely hit up, hit us up there if you want to see them in the best format possible and you want to catch them a little early. Um, that's a great way to do it. So definitely hit us up in the description down below. But Anyway, I think that's I think that's good on our roughly ten minute intro here, but I think we got everything out of the way. So yeah. um, <laughs> I can't wait for everybody to skip this and then and then do everything that we just talked about. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about that as I was talking, but I'm like, you know what? It's fine. We covered our ass. Now, yeah, if somebody's exactly. like, you guys never said this, like, no, we did. No, <laughs> we t- it totally said it. I'll try and put like in the in the video description on this one. Please watch the intro, but. Anyway, don't want to ramble anymore at this point. We're going to get into what y'all came to see here, and that is One Piece. Starting off with the first episode here, this one is called I'm Luffy, the man who's going to be king of the pirates. That is very straightforward, so uh, we're going to see if he does it. A thousand episodes later. (laughs) Yeah, a thousand episodes later. We'll, We'll see what happens, but anyway, let's get into it. Wow, we got right into it. (laughs) <laughs> this is so fast paced. <laughs> what? Oh, this is the OP. It's got, I'm assuming it's going to be the OP each time. I thought it was going to be uh I thought they were just like explaining the story but just like it was so fast the way they were doing it they were like there was a pirate king he left treasure he got killed go find him if you can go <laughs> I was like what the hell <laughs> that's crazy Whoa some interesting fish <laughs> Okay <laughs> I don't know if I call them all fish but <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I know about One Piece, just from like vague context clues of being on the internet. Is like I have a vague idea of all of their powers, at least like the main main crew. Oh, okay. I but only know the- Luffy's. Is that he's super stretch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, that's about it. Oh, okay. We jumped right into it. Let's let's do this. Classic seagulls. I can't read that. Oh, okay. (laughs) Give it a second. (laughs) Was that supposed to be Luffy in the barrel? No, I think that was just, that's an unrelated scene. Oh. (laughs) There's Nami. Oh my god. But. 
That's the One Piece. Go get it. <laughs> See, that's what happened. They passed it in the first episode. That's why it took them a thousand episodes to get back to it. Oh, you might be right, actually. <laughs> it might be Luffy, bro. Yeah, I think he might be in there. Oh, my God. Man, I just saw the devil. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's one thing even worse than the devil. And it's... It's a uh, paying pirate ship? <laughs> it's the love boat. <laughs> oh shit. I played enough black flag. This is this isn't good. <laughs> Everyone, full mask. Whatever that means. Whoa. Imagine that was 3D. <laughs> they missed. We're fine. Oh! oh shit. Well they didn't miss that bad. <laughs> Alright, I think Luffy and his squad are infiltrating the ship. Uh, that's my guess here. Because you got the pretty girl that's like, yeah, I'll accept your dance out in the crew. And then I think Luffy's in the barrel. She's like really calm. I think that's what's going down here. <laughs> I also just like flicked my mic across the room. Whoa. Maybe. I don't know. Or they're going to save the ship. Kobe. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> oh, wow. okay. that is a strong character design <laughs> alright maybe this isn't Luffy's ship <laughs> you thought this was Luffy's ship <laughs> no I thought that maybe they were coots with this ship but I was dead wrong Oh yeah, he he's definitely in this barrel, bro. They get that barrel's getting like way too much attention. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that thing would have just been broken already if like it wasn't that important. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Oh, that's a large ship. Damn. That's really impressive that they were able to just balance like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Kobe, get it together. It's clearly not cut off a pirate work. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Kobe, you messed up. She's gonna sit on you. <laughs> no, she's gonna give him the club. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, she kicked him from one ship to the other. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? She's just gonna like flail her body around like from location to location. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that was a nifty trick. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, there's someone in here. It's like in Pokemon when you walk around, you like check all the garbages in the gym or whatever to see if there's leftovers in it. Always watch the barrel, kid. Let's go, girl. <laughs> okay, Nami. What you doing? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Straight for the weak point. <laughs> Critical blow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, he's getting the, the barrel. <laughs> we do that, guys. You don't have enough plot armor to, to survive what might happen. <laughs> He's gonna bust out and beat their ass.
<laughs> Dude, his mouth is huge. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing that's never rubbed me the right way about One Piece is like the anatomical proportions of characters are so weird. Damn, he's now cold in one punch. I just kill him. Oh. Damn. Damn, bro. Y'all shouldn't be using uh, play swords. They brought knives to a Luffy fight. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> knives to a. Oh, go and fight. <laughs> <laughs> His literal name is Monkey. His name is Monkey in the name. <laughs> that is amazing. Man, this kid is really sticking his neck out for some dude who just jumped out of barrel two seconds ago that he's never met before. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, man, literally being Goku out here, bro. Right? Hi, where's the food? Accidentally kills two people. <laughs> That's why his mouth is so big, so he can just like whole <laughs> <eat> food. <laughs> He just like ate a whole plum in one shot, bro. Two at once. Yeah. <laughs> seeds and all. Yeah, seeds, stems, a box. <laughs> Damn. Oh, now he takes a bite. <laughs> oh, <God>. What the hell? <laughs> what? Damn. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, it's good to know he's got that level of protag energy from the start. <laughs> How short her legs are, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that man's oh, dead. Well, There's no way he's yeah. not. I guess he just lost a crew member up to three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just like Hunter Hunter. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just about to look for one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, as long as you have a good reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, and he heard everything. <laughs> This is like a dangerously disproportioned woman. Oh my lord. Okay, Luffy's like kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this kid's something else, bro. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> He's gonna slingshot back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> that right. is amazing. Clean that up real quick. Gum gum fruit. <laughs> oh. 
Like they'll come when I <laughs> do. Meanwhile, Nami made out like a bandit, bro. <laughs> oh, so I thought Nami and him were together at first, but it seems like they're separate for now. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, they, I, wind up. they they meet up later, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't you just see him going on punch all those dudes? <laughs> Not getting through. Yeah, plus, he literally just told you he's prepared to die, like, <laughs> in the pirates. So, <laughs> I don't think run away is in his uh, vocabulary. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Let her know. Let her know. <laughs> Bro. She's just so massive. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, <laughs> like, over-focusing on this, but she's just so large. Man, he's going off, bro. <laughs> what? Damn. So I guess you don't only become a gum gum person, you also become like semi indestructible. <laughs> well, if you think about it, his whole body's made of rubber. So oh, like yeah. you hit rubber, like it's not gonna you know what I mean? It was that all the energy. Very true. So he's actually basically invincible, at least when it comes to melee attacks. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Damn. Dude. <laughs> this kid is something else, bro. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, like, they're dead, right? I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, dope. The Navy came to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, we have a new recruit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Was it love at first sight? <laughs> I'm Luffy, the pirate. I guess. Oh, he's with him. <laughs> Let's get the squad. Let's get the squad. Let's do it. Time to recruit the cast. <laughs> oh. I don't know if they're doing that for dramatic effect or it's just really hot wherever he is. <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> Dude, okay. Luffy used his like stretching ability and had swords. I mean, I'm, I know those things are for Zoro because that's kind of his his shtick. But like, um, damn, he'd be a menace, bro. <laughs> damn. damn, bro. Anyway, okay, that is episode one. 
of about a thousand of one piece so uh the journey starts here really not too much to say after this first episode i mean obviously we knew a little bit about one piece coming into it uh to be fair right it wasn't like we were totally in the dark um yeah, i know I mean, we've been around like the just the internet and like the general anime zeitgeist enough to like scoop up the very gist of of certain uh, like you know like i know who nami is i know that's zoro like I, I know like i said the general uh main crew that he has um actually it's just nami zoro and sanji but i know that who they are and i know vaguely what their powers do but that's about it yeah yeah i'm a little a little more in the dark as to the supporting cast you know like zoro and all those guys and what they do um but yeah like i'm familiar with what the devil fruit is uh to an extent you know gives you powers and all that kind of stuff um so there's really not too much to say we get introduced to luffy luffy is definitely a funny character definitely has like these goku vibes he's incredibly straightforward but it's like he's so he is like the smile on his face so it's like this weird confusion where you're like well that was just a really mean thing to say but you're so happy like i don't know how to take that so it's pretty funny uh he made me laugh quite a few times for sure he's he's a funny guy but um so that's interesting to see and also it's interesting that i thought that he could just stretch i didn't know that he is a literal rubber which makes sense now because you know he could withstand bullets and you know any sort of blunt object it seems right would be uh you know would make sense which is very interesting in a world like this and their technology if they're you know if they're in you know these this time period of pirates and such um i don't really know what his uh weakness is per se in a fight but that'll be interesting to get fleshed out because obviously he's got to have something you know oh, some sort of detriment to him um you know so that'll be interesting to see but it looks like you know we we have established who luffy is what his goals are or his goal is and uh, now we just got to go find a crew. So we're going to probably take these next couple episodes to find his crew uh, in the various parts of the world and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, we're going to we're going to set sail and they're going to follow Luffy and, and his dream and, you know, be a part of it and have their own aspirations and all that kind of stuff. Just your typical anime stuff, you know, typical show stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, this episode was pretty cool. Luffy's definitely a jerk, um, <laughs> but I'm sure he, <laughs> you know obviously like obviously he's going to develop this is episode one obviously he's going to develop more and stuff like that um and uh yeah i i mean i would i would imagine that you know being that like you said technology wise this world is you know it's more akin to the the way the world was back when like pirates were a thing right so you know you had ships and like metal like wood um but like that's pretty much it um I would imagine that in terms of Luffy's weaknesses, I'm sure there's another type of devil fruit that could probably like, you mm -hmm. know, what natural uh, counter to his rubber body or like sense. whatever property it gives the other person, like they're able to utilize it in a way to be rubber uh, or, you know, or beat a rubber person. Um, just cause like, you know, you can't account for what super, like, you know, once, once you're talking about supernatural shit, it's like, all right, you could do anything theoretically. Um, but yeah, I'm sure, uh, you know, let's put it this way. I'm sure somebody that he comes across will be able to give him a run for his money at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff. Anyway, that is our first reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you're smashing like on this video, commenting your thoughts down below. What did you think of the, th uh, the first episode? Are you coming on as a first time watcher and you're watching this with us for the first time? That'll be interesting. Uh, are you coming back to this again? Just catching us for the first time as new react, you know, as a, uh, more reactors to the show. Curious to know. And if you guys are, uh, you know, trying to stay for this journey um again or for the first time let us know in the comments down below also subscribe to the channel if you are new here especially if you're a one piece fan because we're going to be covering it uh so you don't want to miss any future live reactions that come out we cover a lot more on the channel so definitely want to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything coming up uh, and hit us up in the description down below that way you can support us in all other ways just hit up the link there the link tree link you can support us on patreon if you want exclusive benefits of the show while supporting us namely early access uh, to our one piece reactions in a one in an unedited unfiltered format so that's a big plus um, along with many others that are there as well. We have our channel, The AOA Show, for things like podcast discussions, video essays, skits, vlogs, etc. Uh, we have our social media, everything from Twitter to TikTok. Just click it and click follow, and you can stay up to date with us, see some goofy clips, some hot takes, all that kind of stuff, and many other links on there that support the show. Ninjas are
glamorize Blaze of the cool eyes Find me in the leaf of the cloud Screaming out Bankai We just some ghouls though Who likes seeing parts fly They like what you saying Goma got more through the storylines I Tested your neck from the start My hundreds gon' come for your heart I promise your land in my boulevard Left them in one piece, no